everybody, I'm Tiffany with Voices for Independence Fitness and Activities. I am here with a new segment on household hacks and cleaning tips. What I'm going to be doing for you on a probably weekly basis is sharing some great ideas for around your home. Now, part of being fit is not only our physical health, but it's also our uh, mental well-being as well. And part of that is staying calm and relaxed. And what helps with that is organization. So being organized in your home can really help you stay physically and mentally fit fit in the fact that it is keeping your surroundings in a healthy organize organized fashion for you. So this segment, we're going to be bringing some fabulous tips and hacks to help you around your house because I know I feel much better coming into or working in my home when things are nice and organized. When it gets, starts to get too messy and cluttered, I start to get stressed out, which is not good for our health. So today, uh, I'm going to bring you a few ideas and each time I come on with our household hacks and cleaning tips, I'll bring you some new ideas as well. Now, don't be shocked. Some of these are going to be mind-blowing realizations. I know they were for me. Uh, for instance, our first household hack is know that Parmesan cheese container that we have and we use up and we typically just rinse it out and recycle it, don't throw it in the trash. Well, this can actually be useful and help with organization in your house. Did you know if you simply remove the cap of your empty Parmesan cheese container, and I have one here that I rinsed off, guess what? It fits perfectly on a mason jar. I know, mind-blowing. So this can be great for a multitude of things. One, it can be a great cup for a small child because it has a side that opens up they can, they can drink out of. They can also put a straw in the other side and their straw won't fall down inside the container. Also, for you crafters out there, not that I'm super crafty, but I do do a craft segment and I know this would be super helpful and I'm so using it. You take your mason jar and your new handy dandy cap that fits on it perfectly. And know those glue oh, I just dropped everything. Know those glue sticks that you have and you might have just tore into the bag like I did to get them out? Well, I know they're constantly falling all over the place when I go to grab one. What you can do now is take those out of that container and you can store them right inside your mason jar. So you just fill it up with all your glue sticks and then you put the cap on and voila, not only can you take them out, you can shake them out one at a time um, or just set them there so you can grab multiple ones. But you can also use the smaller side where they'll come out of the holes and you won't spill the whole container any longer. So you're welcome for that helpful household hack. Uh, another one I have for you today is, you know when you have those chocolate chip bags or popcorn bags and you're making your homemade popcorn uh, or rice, this will work for a multitude of things. So I always have them, as you can see, this one's almost empty, but I have crinkled it down, twisted it, rolled it up and shoved it in the cupboard. Right, that works for the time being, but that can go stale. Uh, you can get, um, you wanna keep your food airtight for it to last the longest and have the longest shelf life. So what you can do to help preserve this is you take one of those old soda bottles or drink containers, uh, FYI, I did not drink this, and you are going to, I dropped my scissors, folks. Hold on one moment, I'll be right back. Okay, you are going to take um, your scissors or a utility knife, which I used here, in a little exacto knife, and you're gonna make a slit right around the top of the container, right where the label is. Again, you wanna make sure you rinse out your drink first. And we're gonna simply cut the top off of the bottle. And then if you have rinsed it and you're doing this right away, like myself, you can take a paper towel and just dry it off a little bit to make sure there's no moisture in there from when we rinsed it out. And then we're simply going to take that container or package that we have, whether it be uh, that popcorn or that rice, your quinoa, an open cereal bag, and we're going to feed it right through the top of our soda bottle, just like that. So now, the top of the soda is covering our bag. Then you're going to take your, in this case, chocolate chip bag, 
and we're going to fold it down over the opening. So we can also still get our chips or our rice or whatever it is out, but then we can simply put the cap on, twist it, and there we go. It is sealed back up perfect. So this can go right back in our cupboard and it will stay sealed for you to use until next time. And now you have a great pouring container as well. So those are just some of the fun household hacks I'll be bringing you live on this Facebook group in the future. So I hope you enjoyed it and I'll be back with more next week. Thanks guys.